Guap Nation? It's your boy Guapo taking in here and today for my sneakerheads on the channel. First of all, I hope y'all having a great day. Let me even, let me say that before we even get into the video. I hope y'all having a great day. Y'all staying safe, y'all staying blessed and just being safe out here because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world today. But for today, I want to bring y'all a quick video just piggybacking off of my old How to Lace Jordan 4 video. I'm going to bring y'all another video of How to Lace Your Jordan 4s in 2021 now i'm bringing y'all this video because back when i made the how to lace jordan 4 video about a year ago that's when basically the pandemic and everything going on first started so i know a lot of y'all are outside now y'all getting around doing your thing going back to how regular life was before all this going on and in that last video i only showed y'all how to do the loose method i didn't show y'all how to do the loose tie method so i'm gonna show y'all how to do that really both of them but like I said, I know y'all stepping out. You got to have your shoes looking right if you're going to step out. It's been a lot of fours releasing lately. So I feel like, you know, I just want to make sure y'all wearing them right and y'all wearing them with some style. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be showing y'all both methods. And it's so easy to do it that if you can't do it, you probably shouldn't be wearing shoes. You need to stick the slides, do what you got to do. But I'm going to show y'all how to do both methods so you'll know how to do it. But I want y'all to let me know which one looks better, like which method, the loose method or the loose tie. I'm going to get an on foot going so y'all can see them both on foot side by side and y'all let me know. I'm also showing y'all two new ways of how to lace your Jordan 4. If you haven't seen the old video, then it is two ways. But if you've seen it, then it's just one way. But we about to get into it. I'm not going to waste no more time. So let's get into it. Now, I will be using my Jordan 4 metallic orange for this video. Last one, I used the black cats, but this one, I'm going to use the metallic orange. And I feel like this is actually a slept on colorway when the metallic pack dropped. Everybody went for the red ones and the purple some went for the green but it's like everybody forgot about these so let's take a quick moment to appreciate this shoe and i don't i don't know if it's gonna show up on camera but the netting is starting to yellow like i'm talking about yellow like some dirty teeth in the morning yellow it's starting to yellow maybe it'll show up better on this one but the net part is actually starting to yellow a little bit because i've been putting in work in these as y'all can see from the bottom your boy has been wearing these a decent amount. So I try to keep them on ice as much as possible, but sometimes I got to bring them out. But that's besides the point. Let's get into these methods. And I also don't want to hold y'all for too long. So I'm not going to show y'all how to do the loose method because all you have to do for the loose method is just not tie it. But you can do the same exact method and get the same results. But for the loose tie method is one part at the top that will, if you don't do it right, it'll make the shoe look totally off. So I'm about to get into that. Now we starting out by just putting them through the first two holes. You gots to do it, cause that's how you lace your shoes. So put them to the, so put them through the first two holes. Make sure they're even too, by the way, when you put them through the first two. Cause you don't want no uneven shoelaces. Like, we're, we're too old to be walking around with uneven shoelaces. So once you get it through there, make sure the laces is flipped. And I always have a problem with the Jordan 4 laces. It seems like they always want to flip on you. So just make sure they're flat like this. And now just lace them all the way up like you regularly would. Make sure you're leaving room. By the way, I forgot to mention this when we first started lacing them. Make sure you're leaving room. I usually do, if y'all are familiar with my how to lace videos, I usually do the little circle thing right here with my finger. Once the lace touches your finger, let it go. Let it go. That's when you know you got enough room. So, bomb, that's enough room. Move on to the next thing. Just to let you know, but back to the lacing though. All right, now when you get to the top, you wanna stop right here, cause this is what you're gonna do. Most people would put the lace through this first one right here. You're not gonna do that. You wanna put it through the second one for both sides. If you put it through the first one, it's not gonna give you the same effect. So, put it through the second hole at the top, not the first hole. And once you get it in good like that, I can 
not on my foot, so it's a little harder to tie, but when you get it to where it needs to be, then bomb. Pull that a little bit and then bomb. Now you got the loose tie method. So as you can see, still loose laces, but it's tied up. Make that look like that. And we're gonna bring the camera back up here. And here you have it, the loose tie method on this side and the loose method on this side. So if you wanna do the loose method, it's the same exact method as this, but just make them hang. You don't have to tie them at the top, just make them hang. But I'm about to get a quick one foot because y'all also have to let me know which one looks better than the other, the loose method or the loose tie method. So we about to get into that Guap Nation. I appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every video without y'all, this will not be possible. So I thank y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer than y'all have already been held watching this video. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all know I come with the short, sweet video. So until next time, I appreciate y'all. Y'all let me know how they looking. I'm about to get them on feet. So until next time, Guap Nation, I appreciate y'all and we out of here.